This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro has now seen a nice correction higher after breaking down to fresh multi month lows at 108.52. And at this point, the correction should be stalling out somewhere in the 111 area in favor of that next lower top and continuation of the downtrend below 108.52 and towards the 105 area further down. At this point, only a daily close back above the 112 area would really give reason for concern and force a shift in the immediate bearish outlook. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to be confined to a range over the past several days, and it's going to take a break of this range for clear directional insight. Look for an immediate break back above highs at 123.33 or below some recent support, which comes in around 120.83 for a clearer directional insight. But overall, here, clearly the downtrend remains firmly intact. Dollar yen. So after trading up above 105, dollar yen has been unable to sustain gains above that psychological barrier with market putting pressure back on the downside. Of course, it will take a break back below the low that we saw going back to the 19th of October at 103.16 to put the pressure officially back on the downside. Until then, there's risks of the setbacks being supported in favor of fresh upside towards next key resistance at 107.50. Euro Swiss. So a major breakdown in Euro Swiss. The market has been trading within a well-defined range roughly between 108 and 110 over the past few months. But the breakdown now below some key support at 107.78, that's the low going back to the 16th of June, now exposes potentially a fresh setback towards a retest of the 2016 low from the 24th of June at 106.24. At this point, it would take a close back above 108 to resume that range trade, the range trade that we've seen over the past several months. Aussie dollar. So Aussie is chopping around right now. Although we've seen some bid in recent trade, the market continues to be very well capped on rallies to above 77, which suggests that we could be seeing the market top out. A break, of course, back below some critical support at 74.21. The low from the 26th of July would be required to strengthen the bearish outlook and accelerate declines. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has seen some setbacks in recent trade, but overall the market is highly constructive and continues to push to fresh multi-month highs. Look for a break above recent uh, resistance, which comes in around the 134.35 area to open the door for an acceleration up above psychological barriers at 135. At this point, setbacks should be very well supported ahead of 132. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has seen some choppy consolidation over the past few sessions, but overall the market looks like it's in the process of topping out in 2016 after stalling out back in the month of September at just shy of 75 at 74.86. But we will need to see a break below the recent support at 70.35 to strengthen this outlook and expose and a drop to next key support, which comes in the form of that low going back to July 21st at 69.52. SPX 500. So a major breakdown in the S&P 500 on Tuesday with the market taking out that critical September base at 2108. This should accelerate declines over the coming days and weeks down towards that June base at 1990. At this point, look for any rallies to now be very well capped below 2155. Gold. So gold has seen a higher low potentially now carving out at 1241 with the overall structure quite constructive. At this point, look for a push back above 1300 to strengthen the bullish outlook and accelerate gains back towards a retest of the 2016 peak at 1375.